What's up, guys? Jack, guys, with another video. Anton Dolly! I've got a video on how you guys can make Minecraft thumbnails for your Minecraft videos on YouTube. So, this video is definitely going to be helpful. I've looked at my analytics. A lot of my people that watch my videos actually play Minecraft. So, you know. That is pretty pretty awesome and a really big advantage to this video. So if you guys can like this video, that would be ever so much appreciated. 50 likes would be so so awesome. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button as I do try to upload daily awesome videos on this channel. Without further ado, let's jump straight into this. You guys gonna wanna head over to Photoshop, then you make it 1280 by 720, have it 72, then pixel pixel pixel, all this, just have it all like that. I'm gonna be doing a Hunger Games, for example, today. I did have this video really really sick being deleted so I've sort of just got to run over it again. Now head over to, onto your web browser and type up HD Minecraft Shaders. Just like that. You don't have to spell it right. I, I never spell things right do I look at all my video titles. Um, and then you can scroll down find different ones that you like. Hopefully the um, pixels are like big enough because you don't want two small ones and stuff like that. For today I'm going to be using this one right here. I thought it looked very very snazzy. Have it like that. Then I'm going to go over to filter as all the cars go past in the world just because I'm making a video. Go to blur, gash and blur, I have it like that, I think that looks pretty pretty sick to be honest. And then head over to Nova Skin. Now it might pop up NovaSkin.me and stuff, don't click on that, you're going to want to click on this first link that looks like that. You guys can then go select a player, you can find your name to say that I wanted Punisher, whatever it is, that's my Minecraft username dot 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 um and then i can find the skin just like that and select that that's not my own custom one actually and you guys can change the pose just like that you can make it hold things in his hand just like that that looks really sick that actually blends in quite a lot um and you guys can do whatever you want with your own skin so today i'm going to be using captain sparkle's skin then click on save and save wallpaper just like that and then you guys can drag it along so this is the skin that i chose for today i did make it um earlier but that was in the other video and then click on this little rectangle tool right here this is what i'm going to be doing so you don't have to do this and i think about there is perfect and then just make a bar like that and then i can select what color i want it so you know it's just like that at the moment i don't really want to stroke um there we go i don't want to stroke for now because I, I actually use another one in photoshop to get strokes as i get stuff that i don't want and then i can just click like the text or whatever like that as you can see, I've still got like this. Maybe I can select that layer. There we go. And then I'll select this again. And then I can go control click on it. Blending options. I can go on to stroke. And then I can change the color to say white. Okay. Then go on to drop shadow. Make the drop shadow 100%. Just like that. To be honest, that's how I like them. If you guys probably don't like it like that, then you guys can obviously change it. Everything like that. Then I can select this skin as it just says could not select a layer because the point you clicked is not visible the director mark visible okay then let's just put this above like that there we go and then as you guys can see it decides to mess up so i can just you know these things happen i'm not the best with photoshop and i'm just going to drag that layer back just like that if that does happen that's what i just have to do sometimes because you know i'll agree i'm not the best but i try to do my best and then i can just drag the skin in like this so i think that's pretty big enough to be honest it's got the diamond axe is what i really want to see and just like that then i can just press the uh tick and then i'll press control click on the layer again blending options i'm gonna have another stroke i'm gonna have it a white stroke just like this i know i'm going a bit fast guys but obviously if there's anything that you guys are very unsure on then leave in the comments down below as i do try to reply to all my comments and um just go back on the video just like that see look that's what i'm aiming for here guys you guys could then probably go to Google Images and then, so, so I just go with Google, as I spelt Google wrong, gosh, Jay. Um, and then you can go to like, I don't know, like Minecraft renders, just like that. I could find like different items that I wanted renders. So say that I typed up Minecraft item render, then have a PNG, PNG. And just like that, see, look, it's like a Minecraft Pokemon boy. I can have all these different things that I want in my video. Today, I'm going to have a diamond. I'm just going to place the diamond in there. Press uh, Control. Make it like that. Tilt it a bit. Put it in front of this. Press tick. 
And there we go. I've, I think that's pretty sick for me to guys. That's like so far. Then you guys can have text. So if you guys are heading over to the text tool, add this, then I can do, see, today was a Hunger Games video. Um, so I'm just gonna add that. I can then highlight it and I can select the font that I want. So today, I think I might use Obelix Pro, just like that. And then I can click on it, maybe make it a white, just like that. So I shoot, look, see, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sick with Photoshop, but I'm decent, I'm not gonna like get gassed or anything. But everyone makes mistakes, so if you make a mistake at school and someone makes fun of you, just say, okay. Um, and then wait for them, let them to make a mistake. Usually they'll try and back out of their mistake, as everyone always does. You know, just like that. Then I'm gonna click on the layer again, go blending options, stroke, I'm gonna have a black stroke for today. Look, see the thing is, I don't really like that. Now I was getting at this, I, I actually hope that this happened. So, now I can cross that out and maybe go games, just like that. So the thing is, I like that like that. A lot of people don't, or you can just completely change it. But I'm gonna have mine like that for today because you know why not? And then maybe you can have things like this because the thing is in my tutorial videos, if you make a mistake that you guys are gonna make, if I make that on purpose, and then you guys can go, oh okay, I did that. So I'm gonna have a stroke, then a drop shadow. I'm gonna have a drop shadow like that. You can have like a color overlay. You guys can have gradient overlays, just all that stuff that you guys actually want. And you guys can just muck around for all that stuff. But for today, I'm not really going to. So I'm gonna press shift. I'm gonna make it the little bugger, just like this. And then there, I've got like the main thing of my video. I can then put that like that, move that along up there maybe in front of that. And then just place that down. I can then get the diamond and maybe put the, put that there. I can maybe put the diamond in front of the thing like that see look it sort of like blends in it's really really cool that's sort of the thing that i'm getting at here guys um then i can write hunger games and i can be like i don't know what what, what happened in the video you know think so maybe i could say i won and then use this move that along just like that and then maybe i could extend the text i say like i don't know i won I won with fun. See, that, that that's just the sort of style that I'm going for. I know it's a very weird style and a lot of people will be like, oh my gosh, why is he doing that? Um, but there we go. To be honest, I think that the, um, I can just go place that down. I think that should go in front of that, just like that. And then the I won with fun, I can just press control, click, blending options and for this one I'm gonna have a gradient overlay I'm gonna choose the rainbow one because that's what one I like I'm gonna have a stroke and then boom to be honest I think that's it a drop shadow maybe you guys can play around with this as much as you guys want but there we have it I just want to move that along again there we go place that and down place that above I won with fun just like that see that's what I'm going for and that was for today's tutorial guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed watching the videos I've definitely enjoyed making it you guys definitely be sure to leave a like there we have so much appreciate I've tried so hard on this video so thank you guys ever so much for watching subscribe see you around in my town peace